Outstanding Videographer News. Jeff McIntyre, ABC7. Okay, it's Emmy's 70th birthday, and you know what? There's only one fitting way to truly express my gratitude, and um, it's with some interpretive dance. Is that okay with everybody? Are we into this? Come on, happy birthday, Emmy! Because it takes a village, people, to win an Emmy. That's right, I said an E-M-M-Y. Come on, let's do it. David, are you embarrassed to know me now? Yeah, great. Thank you so much. It's an honor. Oh, dance lessons at the bar after the show. Outstanding Editor News, Jeff McIntyre, ABC7. Thank you. So four years ago on this very stage, I compared editing to dating a Kardashian. And I've had some time to think about those words, but no, it's so much more. It's such a magical process of you throw all these raw elements into the blender and out comes magical stories that help bridge the distance between ignorance and enlightenment. So to all of us, let's keep telling great stories. Thank you so much. And the Emmy goes to return to Japan six years after the tsunami. You don't want to say shit. Now, David does a lot of blah, blah, blah in a week. How, how many of you want to see him do the dance? Uh, yeah? <laughs> yeah! No? So, but, when we uh, show up for a story, everybody thinks Jeff's the guy in front of the camera for obvious reasons. Uh, this is an opportunity to go back to Japan after the tsunami and see what they're doing six years later. And some of those lessons that they've learned are tough ones, but they're valuable to us as well here in Southern California, an earthquake country. And um, it's just a wonderful opportunity to go and see this amazing country as they rebuild in a very difficult time. And uh, um, it, it's, it always blows me away to see the resilience of people when they deal with a disaster. So this was a great opportunity to do, kind of bring that to our viewers. So thank you very much. Thank you.